Yo, what is up, guys? You thought that Bits of Black Ring was dead. You were wrong. And I was actually also wrong. Because I also thought that I will never ever play this deck ever again. But uh, I did a lot of testing. I did a lot of cooking. And I came to the conclusion that right now, going seconds against most of the decks, especially against fire decks, if you don't have like the perfect god hand, you're just going to lose. But... If you, however, have Shifter, you have a higher chance of winning going second against a good fire deck player um, than having like two to three hand traps, which is why I came to the conclusion to play Shifter in my next Blackwing deck. And the only deck that can play really well on the Shifter is Bistel Blackwing. And <laughs> I took this deck to my last case tournament at the weekend and uh, I went five and two. I could have went six and one. Um, that one time I completely bricked, like, not really bricked, honestly, it was just like, like, for one game I bricked and the other game my opponent just had the nuts, I didn't have a single chance, uh, but it was still a great game, like, it wasn't that bad, however, the other game that I lost, I could have won it, but, um, I was lacking a little bit of skill issues, which is fine, because I haven't played Blister Blackwing in a long time in TCG, especially not with Shifter, because it's actually really hard to play with Shifter, this deck but um it has right now i believe the most potential to be consistent like to, to consistently top in this current format because like i said man one two three hand traps for some reason do not stop any fire decks so we have to give them just a shifter and pray right i'm talking about going second going first however man it's a free win but I, we cannot rely on the coin toss every single turn so yeah let me show you what i cooked um, the deck is going to be available on Patreon, so stay tuned. And yeah, let's check out what we have here. So let's say, for example, we're going to hand like this, right? We got two shifters. Usually two shifters are always dead, but we can actually loop. And I did this also at the tournament where we looped the shifter. So if we are going first, however, you don't necessarily have to use shifter right now. Okay, you can actually wait with the shifter and do it mid in the combos. So we can like add here, Zudri, normal summon Zudri. Um, at Vata and Shamal. Use Shamal's effect to get the Black Feather Whirlwind. Special summon Vata, activate Vata's effect to summon the Black Wing Dragon. And now we can chain one uh, Shamal's effect and then chain two Black Feather Whirlwind's effects to special summon Vata and get Hammer Time for it to our hand. Next up, we can use Zephyr's effect to bounce back the Black Feather Whirlwind. And now, as you, guys, as you guys can see, our graveyard is clear and we can now activate Shifter again. Next up, we can activate Black Feather Whirlwind and now proceed with the combos by going into a Dispata. Use um, Dispata's effect to, or the Black Feather Whirlwind effect to special summon one Vata. Use these two to go into Nothung. Uh, why Nothung? Because I wanted to have a Synchro Monster so that we can trigger um, the uh, Little Knight's effect to banish a card from our graveyard. Okay, and also we can normally summon Amaton and add Changa to our hand. Now we can go uh, into a full armor master with uh, Hammer Town by targeting Nothung. So that it becomes level 8. And go into a full armor master. And from here on, we can go into Lil Knight with Nothung and Simoon. And then we can use uh, this pad as effect to summon Shamal. And come in here a Draco Berserker, for example. Right? And we can set like an Imperm and as pass our turn. If. Um, and that's the thing, like, even... Because now the graveyard is clear, right? We got a cool board on the shifter. I don't think any deck, not even Kashtira can out this. So, real should be fine. Right, and then, like I said, next turn, we can just activate shifter again. Like that. Isn't that cool? I think it's really cool. However, we might not always have the best hands. For example, look at this hand. This is not the best hand that we want to have for going first, right? Honestly, it's not even that bad. Especially not with Shifter. Check this out. We can use Shifter. Uh, first of all, we're going to start with Lobelium by adding like a Bistil. And then we can activate Regains. Chain, uh, activate the Bistil to banish to make our graveyard clear again. And now um, we can... First of all, we can draw a card with Regains. And then we can also use Shifter. And then, as you guys can see, we draw another shift end 
Usually in almost any deck drawing another shifter is bad, but not in this deck, which is so cool. And even if you don't, like, we don't necessarily need to have always, like, two black wing monsters to go for combo. If we have, like, a bill steal, that's also enough. Check this out. Boom. Normal summon going to this battle. Chain black feather one. Special summon shaman back. Activate this battle's effect. Summon the Magnemut and go into a Baron de Fleur, man. Look at this. And we have another shifter being alive. Because we got, thanks to Magnemut, we got, like, a bill steal. Right. Look at this. Who's going to beat this? <laughs> and then like if you want to like we can do like stuff like this boom 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 summon another full of thanks to this pattern we have like a really cool follow-up grind game whatever on the shifter and that is is too good right look at this beautiful boat <laughs> let's check let's check out one more combo all right here is another hand uh let's say for example we're going second right usually going second you can also draw like another card um but uh, let's pretend like we're just going second and we're missing out on that draw off. Now we can play. This is how we could play, like, especially uh, potentially on the shifter. Or what I've been doing at the last tournament. Here we can add with Sudri. By the way, make sure to not. Like, usually, you if you have Shaman in your hand on the shifter, it's like a dead card unless you normally summon it. Okay? Because you cannot activate Shaman's effect to activate the Black Feather Warband. Do not forget about that. That's just like a big oopsie, big play, that misplay that you can do. Do not do that. And also, if you activate Vata's effect on the shifter, you know what's going to happen? You can actually activate it on the shifter, but Vata and the cards that you picked from your deck are going to get banished, and you are not going to get the Blackwing Jang on the field. So, do not make those mistakes. Here we can go like into Nofung. Chain Black Federal to special summon back Vata, and then we can like normal summon Shamal or use the Bistil to banish the shifter. Normal summon Shamal. And this time I added with Black Whirlwind uh, Zudri so that we have like a nice follow up. And we can go into this pattern. Go here into a Draco Berserker. And with this pattern, we can summon back Shamal. And this is, by the way, like, if we are going second, right? So, basically, this is an OTK somehow. Yeah. Okay. This is basically just how it works on it, to be honest, man. Like, um, the sky is limit for this deck, I believe. And especially, like, in this ugly format, we have to beat fire with fire, I guess. And Drifter is the kind of fire that we needed. I'm not sure, but yeah. Also, at the same time, um, uh, we're gonna be more. We're gonna we're gonna have more plays uh, against like decks like Kashtira or decks like Flanderis. Even though I don't care about Flanderis, but yeah, I actually was able for the first time only with engine. If we counting Bissert as an engine part, uh, I was able to beat a fire deck, uh, like a fire deck bot, completely full combo fire deck bot. I was only able to beat thanks to. Back wings with biscuits. Okay, no shifter, no hand trap, no whatsoever. Just pure engine, basically. I was able to beat them. Because, yeah, people thought that biscuits are dead in this fire dominated format, but it's actually not. I'm actually enjoying this deck right now a lot because it has so many plays to go through. And, and yeah, and I, I feel like I made a consistent version that doesn't break so much. Uh, it has a lot of changes from the last time I played Bistil Wing. So, yeah, if you're interested in that, make sure to uh, join Patreon. Or if you're already on Patreon, stay tuned. I'm going to upload the deck list soon. And going to going to attend a lot of tournaments, upcoming tournaments with this deck. And, yeah, that's basically it, man. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Take care. And don't forget, Blackwing, best deck. <laughs>